NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again after months of spouting gibberish. While humanity has explored the solar system in remarkable depth, new discoveries continue to astonish us. For years, we believed we had identified all the planets, only to be proven wrong. What about the Voyager probes? How far have they ventured beyond our solar system? Even scientists are amazed by the groundbreaking revelations from these spacecraft. One of the most fascinating discoveries is that our entire solar system, including the distant Oort cloud, which lies about a light year from the sun, is encapsulated within a colossal bubble. This bubble spans 1,000 light years across, with the sun remarkably positioned near its center. But what exactly happened as the Voyager spacecraft crossed the edge of the solar system? Could we truly be trapped in a massive space bubble? And how does this discovery reshape our understanding of the solar system's dynamics? Let's dive in to find out. On September 5, 1977, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard a Titan Centaur rocket just weeks after Voyager 2's launch on August 20th. Originally designed for a five-year mission to study the outer planets, these resilient probes have surpassed all expectations, continuing to send data back to Earth more than 44 years later as they venture into interstellar space. The Voyager missions capitalized on a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years, allowing the spacecraft to perform gravitational slingshots from one planet to another, conserving their limited fuel. Despite launching second, Voyager 1 was the first to reach Jupiter and Saturn, focusing on these planets, while Voyager 2 explored Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Over a decade, the data transmitted by the Voyagers has profoundly shaped our understanding of the outer solar system, earning their place in textbooks and media alike. As a unique touch, each spacecraft carries a golden record, a time capsule of Earth sounds and music intended to communicate with potential extraterrestrial life. As of January 2024, Voyager 1 is approximately 14.9 billion miles, 158 times Earth's distance from the Sun, making it the farthest human-made object in space. Voyager 2 achieved a major milestone in November 2018, becoming only the second spacecraft to enter interstellar space, following Voyager 1's breakthrough in August 2012. Voyager 1's departure from a heliosphere the vast bubble of charged particles created by the Sun, was confirmed when its plasma wave instrument detected a massive solar eruption between April 9th and May 22nd, 2013. The eruption caused nearby electrons to vibrate, and researchers found that the surrounding electron density was significantly higher than that within the heliosphere. This data revealed a surprising contrast. Interstellar space is denser than regions near the Sun, but the heliosphere's outer edge is much less dense than areas closer to Earth. By analyzing this data, scientists pinpointed Voyager 1's official entry into interstellar space to August 25, 2012, using electron oscillation measurements and observations of charged solar particles. Voyager 2 followed suit, crossing into interstellar space six years later, confirming the profound scientific significance of these twin spacecraft. The data from the Voyager spacecraft revealed many similarities, such as the overall density of particles encountered in interstellar space. However, their journeys revealed notable differences, sparking new questions about the Sun's trajectory through the galaxy. Outer space continues to defy our expectations, and Voyager 2's observations as it crossed the heliopause, the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space, are shedding light on some of the solar system's greatest mysteries. To understand Voyager 2's groundbreaking findings, it's essential to first grasp the Sun's dynamic nature. Far from being a tranquil ball of light, the Sun is a star, a blazing nuclear furnace hurtling through the galaxy at approximately 450,000 km per hour. Its surface is a tangled web of magnetic fields, driving a continuous flow of electrically charged particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind streams outward in all directions, carrying the sun's magnetic field across vast distances. Eventually, the solar wind meets the interstellar medium, a region filled with remnants of ancient stellar explosions. Much like oil and water, the solar wind and the interstellar medium don't easily mix, creating a boundary called the heliosphere. This vast bubble, powered by the solar wind, extends roughly 11 billion miles from the sun, encapsulating the sun, all eight planets, and a significant portion of the solar system's outer regions. Strange, isn't it? But it's the kind of strangeness that works in our favor. 
the heliosphere acts as a protective shield, guarding everything inside, including us, from the galaxy's most dangerous radiation. Without it, life as we know it would be exposed to potentially catastrophic hazards. The outer edge of the heliosphere, called the heliopause, marks the beginning of interstellar space. Understanding this boundary has profound implications for comprehending the sun's movement through the galaxy, as well as the conditions around other stars scattered across the cosmos. Scientists are especially intrigued by the interactions at this threshold, how the solar wind and the interstellar media mix, the extent of material exchange across the boundary, and the dynamics of this cosmic collision. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it provided the first ever glimpse of this mysterious region. However, interpreting its data posed challenges. Scientists discovered that the interstellar magnetic field was two to three times stronger than expected, suggesting that interstellar particles exert up to ten times more pressure on the heliosphere than previously thought. Still, Voyager 1's revelations were incomplete. Its plasma instrument had failed in 1980, leaving gaps in the data. Voyager 2, however, provided a breakthrough in 2018. With its plasma instrument fully functional, scientists gained a clearer view of the heliopause. They observed that as the spacecraft approached the boundary, the surrounding plasma slowed, heated up, and became denser, offering an unprecedented look at the dynamics of this crucial interface. The interstellar medium beyond the heliopause is far hotter than expected, with temperatures reaching at least 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, because this plasma is incredibly thin and diffuse, the average temperature around the Voyager probes remains extremely low. Voyager 2 also confirmed that the heliopause is a porous boundary, allowing particles to pass in both directions. For example, Voyager 1 encountered 10 streams of interstellar particles that penetrated the heliopause, resembling tree roots breaking through rock before fully crossing the boundary. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 detected a subtle flow of low-energy particles extending more than 100 million kilometers beyond the heliopause. As Voyager 1 approached the boundary, the outgoing solar wind slowed dramatically, creating an eerie limbo-like state. In contrast, Voyager 2 observed a unique transitional layer in the solar wind, similar in width to the stationary zone observed by Voyager 1. This disparity underscores the complexity of the heliosphere and highlights the need for more data to unravel its mysteries. The Voyager missions have dramatically expanded our understanding of the solar system and interstellar space. Voyager 1 exited the heliosphere through its leading edge, and Voyager 2 through its left flank, but the full shape and structure of the heliosphere remain unknown. It could be spherical, comet-like, or even glass-shaped, but current spacecraft like New Horizons won't reach far enough to clarify this. As a result, scientists are calling for a new interstellar mission to explore these mysteries. Voyager 1 also detected a persistent low-frequency hum beyond the heliopause, suggesting subtle, ongoing activity in the interstellar medium. These discoveries underscore the need for more data and long-term observations to fully understand the heliosphere and its interactions with interstellar space. Decades-old Voyager 2 data from its 1986 flyby of Uranus has been reanalyzed, revealing that earlier conclusions about Uranus's magnetosphere and moons may have been incomplete. A rare solar wind event at the time likely altered conditions, leading to the mistaken belief that Uranus's moons were geologically inactive. In reality, these moons might harbor subsurface oceans and dynamic features. This finding emphasizes the importance of timing in planetary missions and has renewed interest in launching a dedicated mission to Uranus. In 2024, Voyager 1 experienced a communications failure with its primary transmitter but successfully switched to a backup system dormant since 1981. Despite the backup's weaker capabilities, this event demonstrated the spacecraft's robust design and the ingenuity of NASA engineers. However, the mission team is now working carefully to restore the original system to regain full telemetry. Looking ahead, both Voyager spacecraft will continue drifting through interstellar space for billions of years, eventually traveling tens of thousands of light years from the Sun. Though their instruments will eventually shut down, they remain humanity's most distant messengers. As they journey deeper into space, future discoveries are expected, some of which may be beyond anything we currently imagine.